All right, Tim from Scott Country International. Uh, tonight, we're out foxing, thermal style. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Now uh, tonight, we're out foxing again with the, uh, the Fermi NXG50, mounted on my Hauer, a Wildcat Evo, and a Hauer chassis, with Vortex uh, high quick release mounts. The firm, obviously the Fermi XG50 Pro. Um, tonight I'll be spotting out with mergers again, the old faithfuls, uh, using the Recon CT1 tripod. We'll, um, we'll have a look around and see what it's about. Cheers. First time I've been up on with big permission there since before Christmas. Got back up there the other night, seen a few foxes, seen First one I've seen was sort of milling around just over the boundary of my permission, over the other side of the valley, about 250 yards. So I filmed him for a bit with a merger, uh, then flipped the XG onto him as well. See him mooching through the tree line, nice and uh, clear. But obviously not on my permission, so he got away. Turned around, saw another one scouting through right at the top of the top of the hill. Again, not a safe shot on that, about 400 yards, just transiting through, not, um, not paying any attention to the caller. Uh, and I saw another one, and that disappeared off into a long grass somewhere, and I couldn't see that. And I was watching another one on the other side of the valley that where it is my permission, where that field changes. Um, it was about 580, you can see a mouse in about, and then he disappeared into the valley. And then I was sat back up, going back up towards nearer the farmyard. Um, I had one come in a bit too close. He came in about 87 yards, but I didn't have any muzzle clearance on the wall. And as I went to move, he, uh, he he winded me and he was gone. So I started making my way back up to the truck, up to the farmyard, uh, turned around and I could see one coming up from out of the valley again. And then I, I was watching him for a while, I see him moving and I see him moving. And then I saw him turn, got him side on. Yeah, and that was a, that was a cracking shot with the XG. So just proves what, what that says on the tin for for doing being a long range varmint, being a uh, time three to 24 uh, zoom on that. And then um, for the closer range shots, sitting on with the um, sort of like time, the time three, you're still getting the, the perfect image detail, it's clear as day, uh, as good as any like the XP models or anything like that. Um, and then and then you gain your, your, you retain your quarry detail, which is the is what you want when you're zooming in. So perfect there on times three and times six in picture and picture it's perfect all going up to times eight times 12 even is about the right balance times 24 it, it's a bit too much but so far I'm, I'm really loving the xg so yeah one thing i forgot to add on that one as well uh seen a few hours popped over the wall uh saw a nice tawny sitting on the floor it just caught his dinner uh filmed a few um a few hours flying about there's a bar now come down got his prey just caught him flying away with the mouse and he dropped it and he circled back around so i filmed him again with the mergers and uh saw a nice hair running in some big hairs up on these uh on the northumberland moorlands i thought it was a fox to start with but um yeah it come running into i got a bit bit closer like i say the image detail on the, the xg i tend to flick to the xg instead of the merger even though it's, it's a better sensor in the merger, but for some reason you can identify better with the XG. Well, that's what I'm finding anyway. Uh, so, yeah, all in all, it's a it's good, good little viewing of some wildlife. And uh, so, pretty chuffed for that one. So, cheers.